Hey traders, Jason here from Lever Brothers. Hope you're well. So in this video, I'm gonna just offer you some trade ideas, okay? Nothing too heavy, just some trade ideas. Most of these are gonna be stocks that are basing uh, and like are trying to break out or in the process of breaking out. Others broke out a week or two ago and are now in consolidation mode and could easily break out again. Uh, most of them are new ideas. Some of them are old ideas that we're already in. Uh, but the reason I bring them to your attention is because sometimes the best trade is to add to an existing position rather than initiating a new one. Um, sometimes the best entry is like, hey, wait for your existing position to pull back to a key moving average, double up on it rather than a new one. Okay, so some of these uh, we're already in. So nothing too heavy here. Just want to give you some ideas. Let's go through them. All right, here's uh, Aurora Innovation. As you can see, pretty decent base that goes back two, two and a half months, some positive volume surges over here. Stock try, you know, closed above resistance yesterday and today is following through. As of right now, I have a target of eight on it. BioNano, so this stock broke out. I mean, you can see here, turn back uh, by the 21, 21 there. You can see it broke out there. Got some big volume here, came up, consolidated for whatever that is, six, seven, eight days, broke out again, solid volume, and now is in consolidation mode again. So the stock is acting very well. It was a big winner a year ago, then it fell obviously on hard times as it fell below two bucks, but the worst seems to be behind it. And uh, it looks like at least for now in, in, in the near term, intermediate term, uh, the path of least resistance is up. BPT, this has been one of my favorites um, the last couple of months. While the market was kind of getting hit hard in January and February, this stock was doing really well. Uh, as you can see, kind of broke out there. You got some volume there, volume there. Um, it has loosened up. So you can see here, but, you know, move up here, wherever that tops, it tops, comes back down, test the 50, comes back up, test that previous high, comes down and test the 21. Then comes here, consolidates for two days, and breaks out. You can see lots of positive volume over here. So I really like the stock going higher as long as oil doesn't completely collapse, which is very unlikely. Um, my target on this thing is 20 right now. BTU, this is another one that we've played several times going back well over a year. Um, commodity, the, the running commodities probably isn't over, but as you can see, this the pattern is getting a little bit more loose. Okay, that means more gaps, bigger intraday ranges as you know, as compared to how smooth the price action was back here. Okay, it is definitely loosened up here. So it's a stock that I'd rather buy on a dip than on a breakout because as you can see, like breakout here failed breakout there failed. And then today we had big early strength and it has given it back. So I'd rather buy it on a dip. Um, and one line I'll be watching is a 21, which is the orange line there. Cause we got some support there, got some support there. It's got some support support there. So I think it's acting well, it's probably going to go higher, but I'm more interested in buying a dip than chasing a breakout. Uh, CHKP. As you can see, did really well in January and February while the market was struggling. Uh, this stock was moving up, so really strong relative strength. It came, it has come off its high and is now being squeezed by converging trend lines. So this stock likely goes higher if the market cooperates. CLDX, uh, biotech stock, um, decent bottoming pattern here. This is kind of like a, a V bottom, and this is more of a, a rounded bottom. Breaks out, you get some pretty good volume here trade sideways for about you know two to three weeks breaks out yesterday today uh, is holding those gains so i think this one probably goes a little bit higher clf steel stocks doing well um you can see this stock broke out ran up consolidate you know, you know ran up on huge volume consolidated here broke out again consolidating and now it's trying to break out again comes with a little bit of risk um because you know you got breakout number one here, breakout number two here, and now it's trying to break out a third time. There's starting to be you know a pretty decent amount of space here between the stock and its 50-day moving average. I prefer you know some you know a longer consolidation pattern. Um, so I, I, I in my opinion it comes with a little extra risk, but you can't deny uh, how well the stock is acting. 
CLNE. Okay, decent, you know, rounding bottom pattern here. Boom, comes up, tests again, comes up now, you know, trading, you know, at first traded loose, now it then tightened up, broke out yesterday, following through today. Um, you know, you can see that, you know, tail, 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 tail on both sides today. So whenever I see a lot of tails like that, it's, it's a stock I don't want to chase. I'd, I'd rather buy it on a dip. So uh, getting rid of those, a um, little bit of support from the 21 here, 21 here. So it's a stock that, you know, maybe if we get lucky, it'll, you know, do something like that and we can get a, buy a dip back to the 21 for an eventual move up to nine. Um, DCFC, this uh, IPO, IPOs always come with a little bit of extra risk. Um, rolling double bottom pattern here, moves up, gets rejected by the 21, comes back down, comes up here. It's hard to see the volume here. This volume over here uh, <clears throat> shrinks all the volume bars over on the right side here. But volume was pretty good, ramps up. Now obviously trading sideways in a range for two weeks. This one actually looks pretty good. Duolingo, okay, another IPO, broke out. You can see it you know, turned back by the 21 there, gets above it, breaks out over here. You know, volume over here within the downtrend, tons of volume over here as it breaks out and runs up, gets squeezed by converging trend lines, and then breaks out yesterday on strong volume. So not gonna chase it higher, but to me, the stock is acting well. Uh, and is probably going to go higher if the market cooperates. If I were to, you know, back this up a little bit, I could actually look at, you know, a bigger base here. Okay, so where you have a right, a left side, a dip in the middle, and then some sort of right side here. So if this plays out, then we're, you know, then the measured move, you know, for a target is way up here. Okay, but for now, I'm just keep kind of keeping things uh, conservative. I'm only looking for a move back to like that high. Edit. So there's a bunch of biotech stocks that are have that are acting really well. Okay, and this is one of them. Double bottom, as you can see, comes up here, just kind of slides through the previous high, then consolidates here for four days. You know, big volume surge there. Otherwise, volume has been pretty. You know, a little bit favored to the to the upside, but below average. Uh, broke out yesterday and today is you know giving a little bit back. So this one looks pretty good. You know, double bottom pattern, then setting up here above you know this high and this high so these moving averages are coming up to support it so i'd say you know unless the market falls apart i say you know odds favor uh, this stock going up a few more points egy this stock is kind of like the bpt stock i covered a couple of minute, minutes ago market was really really weak in january or february this stock obviously did extremely well ran up lots of volume here lots of volume here broke out now it's getting a little bit loose. Okay, so it runs up here, comes down and tests the 50, comes back up to the high, comes down and tests the 21, and now <clears throat> coming back up again. So we got this resistance zone here between like 7.2 and 7.4. Uh, you know, odds are the stock's going to eventually uh, break out, whether it, you know, whether it gets rejected here and comes back down and tests the 21. I don't know, but you know, if this thing could tighten, at least tighten up for a couple of days, maybe an inside day or two, maybe volume falls off, it'll be a really good breakout play. Embark. So, you know, good news is is that you know we've had two markets, a bull market in commodities and stuff, and a bear market in pretty much everything else. But I'm starting to see some some strength in some uh, in some uh, tech names. Um, so here's a software stock. You know, rallied off the low here, consolidated for like you know, five, six weeks, broke out, strong volume over here, set up, broke out again, broke out again. So it's not, the breakouts, it's not getting much follow through. So we delete, it's not getting much follow through. So instead of getting like a breakout, then consolidation, breakout, consolidation, we, we it, instead we have more of like an up, upsloping channel, which is fine. Um, volume over here is, you know, remains good. So you know, path of least resistance on this one is up as long as the eight, which is this light blue line here, as long as that holds, I'd say, you know, we could be long with a target up at eight. EVgo, so kind of a, you know, a longer drawn out bottoming pattern here. Now we got a consolidation pattern here on the, on the, on the right side, broke out yesterday, giving back some today. So overall, not bad. Um, 
you know, you can put, you know, you can put the top of the pattern like here. So even though this thing, you know, this thing broke out yesterday from this ascending triangle pattern and from the overall bo um, bottom, maybe timing was a little off because some Fed speakers, you know, out today talking about fighting inflation. Uh, but overall looks pretty good. Even if the stock falls back into its pattern, if we get support from the 21, that could be another buy. Extreme networks trended down. You could see getting, you know, support from the 21 there, rejected by the 21, rejected by the 21, 21, 21, breaks out, strong volume, now trading in a wedge pattern, getting support from the 21, support from the 21. So if the market holds up, you know, odds are at least pretty good. The stock will eventually break out and, uh, and you know, trying to run up a point or two, volume supports it. So everything looks good. We just need the overall market to, uh, to continue acting well, FMC. So a lot of a lot of ag input stocks uh, doing well. The stock is steadily trended up. Support from the 50, kind of sloppy support. Support um, starting to get support from the 21 in here, and then support from the eight. This is something I talk about in my master class, where as a stock that's trending gains speed, you know, builds some momentum, it'll it'll go from a longer term moving average like the 50 to a shorter term moving average like the 21, to an even shorter term moving average like the eight. Okay, and that's something I look for when I'm playing a trend. Now the stock's loosening up, you know, two weeks within a within a wider pattern. Uh, I think dips within this pattern are playable. Stock probably eventually breaks out uh, and goes up into the 140s. LSPD, and I'm gonna go through a little bit uh, quicker here so that this video isn't overly long. Um, nothing overly special here. We got a, a left side, a right side, and a big dip in the middle. Lots of volume supports it, so that one has potential. LWG, so when I first posted this at Lever Brothers a few weeks ago, I put a target at 12, but if it seems like a new pattern is setting up here with resistance at 11, 11 higher highs or higher lows there. So if that pattern is the dominant pattern, then you know, a measured move takes it up higher than my the target uh, posted here. But overall, still looks good. We got this bottoming pattern and now an uptrend coming out of it. Net, so we got a pretty neutral rectangle pattern. You know, some up, some down, some up volume, some down volume. Broke out two weeks ago, didn't get any follow through. So now we're kind of trading, you know, trading here. If the market holds up, this stock should be able to leg up again. Any XI, so this is, you know, this is your lottery ticket. It's a biotech, it's really cheap. Obviously stock did very, very poorly, um, but then you can see it like ramped up from two bucks up to almost five, came back down. Now it's riding its eight moving average up. So as a lottery ticket, uh, you know, it could definitely pop a couple of points. Um, it could fail, it could pop. If you like cheap biotechs, here you go. This one's pretty good. Um, one life, nothing special here, big basing pattern. <clears throat> um, you can see it, you know, plunge here on big volume, recovery, get comfortable above its 21, move up, and now got rejected by previous highs that were from here, here, and here. So if it can consolidate over here, then perhaps we can get a move out. Oracle, kind of a boring large cap stock that nobody talks about anymore. Uh, certainly doesn't get the press that like Microsoft and Apple get. You know, rejected by the 21, 21, 21. Now we got like a rolling bottom pattern here. Comes up, gets comfortable above its eight and 21, breaks out, but just doesn't go anywhere. So now it's consolidating again. As long as the market holds up, I could see the stock moving up a couple more points. PAGS, weak stock trending down, rejected, rejected, rejected surges go straight up from 12 to 22 so it almost doubles now consolidating so this stock seems to have changed the corner or changed the corner is that right turn the corner <laughs> all right so here's uh here's palantir you know got a left side here then we got a little bit of a rolling double bottom pattern here and now it you know comes back up um so we played it at lever brothers up to the target here at 14.2 I still think it's playable, even if it falls back into its pattern here. And as long as it gets, uh, you know, gets some support by a key moving average, I think, uh, you know, this overall pattern. Whoops. 
you know, would it, right now I have a target at 16, but if the overall pattern plays out, my target will become 18. So one step at a time is doing all right. Pretty decent relative strength rate lately. Uh, pretty good volume over here. A couple more here. So here's QS. We posted this at Lever Brothers two weeks ago. Uh, not going to chase it here, but I'm posting it because it's acting really well. Good volume here. Good volume here. Obviously really good volume here. Broke out, ran up to our target, which it hit today. Uh, and like I said, at the open, sometimes the best trade is the trade you're already in. Sometimes it's better to either add to a position you're in or just, or take profits and then look to buy back. So we got some support here at the eight. We'll see, does it get support here at the eight? Does it need to pull back and maybe get some support here at the 21? We'll see, but the stock is acting well enough to consider a second entry somewhere in here for a move back to the target of 22 and then beyond that if the overall market is acting well. SANA, another biotech stock that's acting well. So you got a little bit of a hesitation here, dip, hesitation here, breaks out, strong volume. Everything looks good for as a reversal pattern. If you don't mind the risk of biotechs, this one's pretty good. All right, one more vet. This one's we've played several times, broke out over here, has you know pretty much just stair stepped up, couple steps forward, one step back, support from the 21, 21, 21. Stock's trading very loose right now, so that means big ranges, lots of gaps, no, you know, it's not it's not like over here where it's just kind of trading smoothly. It's 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 much looser right now. So I like this one on a dip, but I'm not gonna chase it higher just because it seems to be trading a little bit chaotic. Um, you can see like, you know, gap down and big sell off there, gap down and big sell off there. I don't wanna get trapped in one of those. So personally, I'm not in it right now. I'm gonna wait for a pullback within this range to see if I can get a better entry. All right, so that's it. So there's, there's, I'd say the most dominant observation I can make right now is that after a couple months of tech acting very poorly and commodities doing really well, I'm starting to see some really good setups in tech. Maybe not really good, but like tradable setups that are good for at least a few days, a week, maybe even two weeks. So there's definitely some money flowing back into tech. We don't know if it's gonna last, but it, you know, as a trader, um, you know, there's, there's definitely some money to be made, but there's no guarantees out there. So make sure you keep stops in place. I right, hope you got something out of this. Good luck. See you next time.